the consolidated B-24 Liberator, was one of the most famous bombers of World War II. It was the most produced American wartime aircraft, with more than 18,400 airplanes built. It gained a distinguished war record with operations in the European, Pacific, African and Middle Eastern theaters. It followed in the footsteps of the other great American World War II bomber, the Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress. In 1938, the United States Army Air Corps sent a request to Reuben Fleet, the founder of Consolidated Aircraft, to become a second source for the Boeing B-17. Fleet didn't want to produce a design that was already four years old, and suggested he could build something new. He offered to build an entirely new aircraft. The new aircraft would be based on the new high aspect ratio Davis wing, that had been successfully used on the Model 31. The engine nacelles would be the same as the PBY Catalina. In 1939, a contract was awarded for a test model as the XB-24. The Davis wing demonstrated such remarkable performance on the early flights of the XB-24, that orders were arriving even before production had started. The B-24 was produced at five factories in Fort Worth, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Willow Run, Michigan, and San Diego, California. In Europe, Bomber Command of the Royal Air Force concentrated mainly on night bombing, while the United States Army 8th Air Force operated primarily as a day bombing force. On December 4, 1942, U.S. B-24s of the 9th Air Force attacked Naples recording their first raid on Italy. The U.S. Army Air Force casualties were among the highest for bombing forces. This was well illustrated on August 17, 1943, when 59 bombers were shot down attacking German factories during the schweinfurt regensburg mission. This was followed by Black Thursday when 60 out of 220 bombers were lost during the second raid on Schweinfurt on October 14. On March 6, 1944, the force of 750 B-24 Liberators and B-17 Flying Fortresses attacked Berlin in daylight. 68 planes did not return on that mission. As losses mounted, the B-24 was becoming unpopular with pilots and crews. Unlike the easy-handling Boeing B-17, which had a reputation of getting its crews home despite major damage, the B-24 was not easy to fly, and it was not as durable. It was gaining a reputation as a widowmaker. Flak was a serious problem over Europe. The accuracy and concentration of flak was never contemplated during the design of the B-24. Germany was very good at delivering flak, which became very accurate after the development radar. Survivability increased with better formation flying, and with better fighter escort coverage from the long-range P-51 Mustang. The B-24 excelled in the Pacific, flak was less of a factor, and its long-range and faster speed was an advantage for distant island targets. At the end of the war, the B-24 was retired from service. Incredibly, the B-24 is recorded as having dropped over 630,000 tons of bombs, while several thousand enemy aircraft fell to its guns. Despite its drawbacks, the consolidated B-24 helped liberate Europe and Asia, and will forever be remembered as one of the great aircraft of aviation history.